four-time champion, two-time MVP, won a couple of scoring titles, a perennial All-NBA, and gets that one trophy, the finals MVP, after tonight's victory. Clearly one of the great players in the history of the game. Anybody wants to, to doubt that, wherever you want to put him, that gets all silly and ridiculous. Um, but he is one of the most unique players, Mark, that's ever played. He absolutely is. And the thing, the lazy reporting, which we all have done, is call him the greatest shooter of all time. No, he's one of the greatest players that this league has ever seen. And the sacrifice that he puts his body through to make guys around him better hasn't been seen in the history of this game, in my opinion. And Jeff, from, from the get-go, it's always been about team and about winning. You're sure, he, he likes to, to dazzle the crowd, but his goal every night when he takes the floor is to get a victory. It is, and I, the thing I've always appreciated beyond his great skill level is he's improved as a defender, he's an outstanding rebounder for a guard, and I think those nitty-gritty type stuff lead directly to winning. So when you see your best player commit to the hard parts of the game which is defense and rebounding and then you add to it like that these special skills that he has you've got great leadership and i think what people don't talk about because he's not uh long-winded in what he says is that he is a truly outstanding leader so you look at this team now six finals in eight years four titles in eight years again the only two years that they did not get to the finals. They have devastating injuries, including one key player the entire time, and Curry pretty much missed one entire season except for five games. The dynasty thing gets tossed around sometimes a little too easily, but they are certainly one of those teams that you could say in their era was a dynasty. Well, absolutely, and, and they're not going anywhere. When you look at their future, 